Good morning from the fields of Tuscany, Italy. And it's our day four of Via Francicina. Yeah, we finally continue this way after interruption for several days because we did the Cinque Terre hiking tour. And now we're back on the trail again and planning to hike through the province of Tuscany, at least. Today we had quite night in a little forest in the fields. It was the start of our experience of wild camping in Tuscany. And we already had several nights in Cinque Terre. If you haven't seen our video series from Cinque Terre, go ahead and watch it. It was wonderful and terrible at the same time. But we hope that here in the fields we'll find more opportunities to wild camp. As there is more flat surface, so it means that more chances to find a good place. So we hope for the better here. So it's going to be around 120 kilometers in total. And we plan to do 15 or 20 kilometers a day. Yeah, because we found that it is our golden mean and this way we don't get very exhausted. So today we want to get to the town of Ocaccio and a little bit further. We'll see how the day goes. Because the sun is already up on the sky and the day is promising to be very hot. So let's get the day started. Unfortunately, on the first several kilometers, Via Francicina goes on a fast car road. And it's official route, there are signs. And this is quite dangerous for the hikers because there are actually no side way for you to walk. And the signs, there are no signs for the cars actually. We don't see anything like to be careful or to slow down the speed because they are passing too fast. This is like the common problem of all the pilgrim ways we feel like. But the good route will start again soon. That. Now we turned away from the car road, thanks God. And now finally it seems like we are on an old road made of rocks. But this is only one kilometer before we turn back to the car road again. And this is the reality of most of the old roads for now, unfortunately. This is how it is. There are only parts of the good route left. Quite parts going in nature through the old bridges and old routes. All the others are through the villages and car roads. This is the reality of today's of nowadays. So excited to see the hare here. I don't actually know if it's the hare, but it doesn't look like a rabbit. And he doesn't seem very scared. He's just pasturing and eating the grass very quietly. <laughs> the cutest thing.
we're going on the side of the road again, but this is just a little part. And here they left a little sideway, a little path for the pedestrians. And in our opinion, it should be like this in all the bad places, at least. Like, at least it's not dangerous to walk. Today's weather is a bit cooler than the last days that were crazy hot because yesterday was rainy and cloudy and the ground cooled down a bit. And we have a fresh wind coming at us right now and so great and refreshing. Hopefully it will be all day long like this. If you noticed, I got new short haircut because I needed one very badly. I had a lot of hair and it's growing very fast. So normally we do it at home because we have everything we need there. But now when we are traveling, we had to search hairdresser. And the only one we found was Chinese hairdresser and we didn't have a choice. So we went there and we insisted him very much that we don't need very short haircut. Yeah, we asked him like several times about that, but nevertheless, you see the result. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> and we insisted that, not shortcut, please. And he was saying like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that he took haircut machine, was working very fast and did it very short anyway. So if you like short haircuts and very quick, around five minutes, and you're good to go. Then Chinese hairdresser is the perfect match for you. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't really for us so much. We just wanted to show you real quick our new shoes that we bought and changed our old ones. These are the same, mine are the same model, the Kalenji XT1, Kipron Trail, this is from Decathlon, the biggest sports goods store in Europe. I found this the most comfortable for me, they're the softest, most convenient, they hold the form of the leg very well, you feel like you are in socks, literally, and the soles are very good, you see very thick for the mountains, for any terrain really, like I don't feel them on my legs. These are the only shoes that suit me because I am very picky at this. This is not like advertisement or anything, but just wanted to share with you like what suits us well. Actually Dima got quite the same ones, also keep on trail for trail running ones. And it's got like the same soles, thick ones, but little less protection as you see but these are basically the same the same soft very convenient right yeah and yeah so now we've got the same pair almost <laughs> the same pair of shoes this is great we hope them to serve us for a year or so let us know your favorite brands because we're always curious to know more information about this and try more convenient shoes because we feel like this is the base for any hiker I think we start seeing the typical Tuscanian landscape that you can see lots of photographs on Instagram and everywhere with the cypress trees and with the masons and houses on the top of the hills. This is what we imagined when we came here. The route is very straight, stretches as far as the eye can see. 
so unusual for us coming from the mountains and cliffs. had an amazing encounter, we met for the first time the stork, we think it is the stork and its nest, you can see it is very huge and the people actually made the base for it, if you can see the circle, like metal circle and it's obviously built for them in order to build their nest but it's, it's just amazing and we've seen like two nestlings there as well and oh, we wanted to live here for some time to be able to observe their life and, and everything, how they grow but unfortunately we have to go. <laughs> this is such a rare sight. I haven't seen any pilgrims on the Via Francicina so far. Just few cyclists on our first day and here on a car road. And our guess is that all the pilgrims should be on vacation on the beach, you know, at the seaside, <laughs> because now it's the season for the sea coast vacation, July and August, and probably they're resting there. Who knows? But yeah, it's quite a hot season to walk, I think. And yeah, maybe we'll meet someone <laughs> in the next days. So we arrived at the town of Kecho, our final destination today. And now we're going to do some shopping in the local supermarket. And then we're going to search for the camp spot around. Today was quite an easy day. The weather helped us a lot. It was a bit cooler, as we said, a fresher air. And we didn't do many kilometers. It's always like around 16 or 17 yeah. today. And yeah, the trail was quite easy without any uphills or downhills. This way we'll be able to do even more, I think. We'll start tomorrow earlier will be better for now. We still have time to search for the place and we hope that we find some nice one <laughs> because you never know around the town if there can be a forest. I'll show you what we've got and see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this hiking trip. If so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!